Today I'm on the countryside outside Hamburg to meet someone very, very special. You're curious? Then come with me. Professor Dr. Steinkraus, it's so great to meet you here today. You have to tell me briefly why do you have your headquarter here outside Hamburg next to the Lüneburger Heide? This is a motto, bridging nature and science and uh, there's a lot of nature around here. Why we talk today is your very first SPF product that you have launched at the beginning of the year exclusively at Niche Beauty. It's all about sun protection today. More precisely, it's about sun myths. As you know, there are so many myths and it's time for us or rather for you to Good. clear them up now. Are you ready? I'm ready. Coming to the first myth. Even a few minutes of sun exposure are harmful to the skin and promote skin aging. It depends on the skin type. Okay. If you have a Mediterranean skin type, it's no problem to spend some minutes in the sun unprotected. If you have a very fair skin, even a few minutes can uh, do harm. What about my skin? I think Five minutes, ten minutes? In your case, I think it's very wise to protect uh, correctly and maybe even with a high SPF. The second myth, the higher the SPF, the better. Uh, this is basically true. One should not go under 20, 30. More than 50 is probably marketing concepts. A good skin protection should have the factor of 50. Your product is called Sun Protect SPF 50 Plus. What does plus mean? The plus refers to a very good UVA protection. And this is important because UVA rays cannot cause sunburn, but they can penetrate the skin much deeper than mm -hmm. UVB rays yeah. and do damage to the collagen tissues, meaning skin aging. One of my most hated myths, a base tan will protect me on holiday. I hate this myth because there are so many people every spring, every summer, yeah, I have this base tan, so I don't need SPF. There is truth to the saying. Oh no. <laughs> uh, but, uh, there, there is some truth to the saying, but I would not rely on this. Yeah. Protection is important no matter how your basic tan yeah. is. Chemical sunscreen ingredients are bad for our skin. That's wrong. There is no scientific rationale to this. Chemical sunscreens are basically very safe today and it's very nice on your skin. So there's nothing wrong with chemical um, um, protection factors. So maybe you can tell us briefly what filters you use in your new SPF product. We have a filter system that's on a chemical basis. Yeah, okay. Another factor is that we don't use the chemically aggressive agents uh, that we know are harmful for the, uh, for the coral reefs. And now coming to a myth that drove me personally crazy for a really long time. The skin remembers every sunburn. Is that true or false? That's definitely true. This is so bad for me because to be honest, I had so many sunburns. A sunburn is like a signature in your skin. Yeah, it will okay. stay and if everything goes well, yeah. you get away with it. Yeah. But many sunburns are definitely extremely harmful. Sun protection prevents the absorption of vitamin D. Basically, you think that if you protect yourself, you cannot produce vitamin D. Yeah. But this may not yeah. be true. We have to look at our vitamin D and maybe take it yeah. orally because it's such an important vitamin. Yeah. Sun damage is irreparable. This is basically true. Sun damage is irreparable. Coming to our last sun mm. myth, um, one teaspoon of SPF is needed for the face. I think this sounds pretty much. I think one should use the, the amount of a small hazelnut. This should be the amount that you start with. Okay. And I also apply it to my neck and to my Definitely decollete. to your neck. Thank you very much, Professor Dr. Steinhaus. It was a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you very much. Thank you.